Hey there space explorers! Isn't it fascinating how planets gracefully navigate their orbits around the sun, avoiding collisions with each other? Hi, I'm Mr. Weather, thrilled to guide you through the captivating cosmic dance of our planets using Johannes Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Let's embark on this journey to the 17th century together. Imagine Johannes Kepler, a genius in math and astronomy, contemplating the universe in an era of powdered wigs and telescopes the size of your dad's car. He wasn't just observing the stars, he was unraveling the mystery of how planets like Earth orbit the sun. Kepler wasn't satisfied with the circles. Nope. He thought they were too basic for the celestial waltz. So, armed with data from his buddy Tycho Brahe, the original rock star astronomer with the golden nose, Kepler found that planets, like eager cosmic Ferraris, speed up when they're closer to the sun. And Kepler whipped up three laws from the celestial racetrack to explain it all. Buckle up because here they come. Kepler's first law. Planets don't do circles. They prefer elliptical orbits. Kepler's second law. Planets sweep out equal areas in equal times. That means when a planet is near the sun, it moves faster than when it's farther away. Kepler's third law, the farther a planet is from the sun, the slower it orbits. It's like a solar system game of the tortoise and the hare, except everyone is a winner because they all orbit just right to keep our cosmic neighborhood grooving. So thanks to Kepler's brain power and Tycho's nose for data, we've cracked the code on how planets boogie around the sun. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Mr. Weather's World on YouTube for new videos every Mr. Weather Wednesday.